Hi guys, welcome back. So the palette that I'm playing in today is this Candylicious eyeshadow palette from Bombshell Cosmetics. And the packaging really does remind me of a candy wrapper. It's very, very cute, very pretty. Now, this palette consists of 18 shadows, six shimmers, and 12 mattes. There is a giant mirror in this palette. And as you can see, it's a nicely colorful palette, but it does have some really gorgeous warm tone shades that you can create everyday looks with. Now this palette has a weight of 63 grams. It is cruelty free and it does have a 12 month shelf life. I really love the colors in this palette. I think it's a nice eclectic combination of shadows. And although there's some pretty colors in here, it is a nice versatile palette. So let's go ahead and jump into these swatches you guys and take a look at all of these shadows on my skin tone. So as you can see, this palette swatches very nicely. The matte shades are coming off nicely pigmented and the shimmers are really smooth and creamy and bright. I love how this palette swatches, how it performs, and just the overall color scheme and color story of this palette. I'm very, very happy with the eye look I created today. Very happy with how the shadows performed. And for my first impression, I'm impressed. So this is the look I created. If you'd like to see, then stay tuned because we're going to jump in right now. So first off, I'm going to take my LA Girl Slim Shady Eyebrow Pencil. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of fill in and shape up my brows before I get started with this eye look as usual. And also to clean them up, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Concealer. And I just use this to clean up the lower portion of my eyelid as well as the upper portion just to make my brows look nice and neat. Now I'm going to use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot like I always do to set my lids. I don't set it with powder or anything, I just place down my paint pot and get started with my shadows. I'm so excited to play with this palette, you guys. So the first shadow, the first shadow that I'm going to use is Grape Soda. And these names are so cute. They're very simple, <laughs> but very, very cute and appropriate to the theme of the palette. So I'm just placing that purple in my crease and just making sure to build up that pigment so I'll have a nice dark crease area. And as you can see, it's nicely pigmented. Now I'm going into Cherry Pie, which is a gorgeous, just basic red shade. And I'm using that to blend out the edge of that purple. And these shadows blended very nicely together, you guys. As you can see, I didn't have any harsh lines after blending them together. I really, really like how they perform. Now I'm going into Honey, which is this gorgeous kind of yellow, it's not really a mustard, I don't know. It's like a mustard yellow matte shade. And I'm using that to further blend out the red. So as you can see, it's turning a little bit orange giving me that nice kind of sunset vibe. But I really, really like how those colors blended together as well. Very seamless and smooth. Nice, isn't it? So next, I'm going into this gorgeous blue shade, which is Blueberry. And since I'm placing it basically on top of that purple, it kind of turned into more of a navy blue. It's still a gorgeous blue shade, but that purple really helped to kind of deepen it up. So it's nice to see that you can combine shades to create additional colors with this palette. It doesn't just turn into a muddy brown. So I really like that. It turned into a gorgeous blue. Now I'm going to cut my crease for this look. So I'm just using my Revolution uh, what is it, the canvas, this new uh, cut crease canvas to cut it out and it's 
really, really opaque white shade. I love that cut crease canvas. Going back into that blue and just using that on the outer portion of my cut crease. As you can see, the blue is a very gorgeous bright blue shade. Now I'm going into Slush, which is a really pretty, it's kind of like a sea foam green shimmer shadow. And I'm going in initially dry, but I wanted to try it out wet. So I went ahead and sprayed my brush a little bit and went over that with it wet. And that did help it to pop a bit more, although it was pretty dry as well. Definitely helped to spray the brush though. Now I'm going into Pina, which is a really gorgeous kind of a yellow gold shimmer shadow. And I'm just barely placing that on the inner corner of my eye, dragging it along the edge of that cut crease, just to add a little bit of brightness. I'm making sure that I have the outer corners blended nicely. And I really like how this cut crease is turning out. So I'm going in with some of my Pretty Vulgar. It's my gel black eyeliner. And I just placed a little bit of that on my hand and I'm using that to create kind of a nice thick wing liner for this look today. So this is the eye look complete. Now let's go ahead and move on to the face. I'm using my Touch and Soul No Problem primer on my face today. I really like this primer. It's really, it helps to set my makeup. It makes it stay longer. It doesn't really help with my pores that much, but I like how it helps the makeup stay on longer. I'm using my NYX Total Control Foundation Drops today. And I haven't used this foundation in quite a while. Um, I do like the coverage. I like the finish because it's a really, matte finish and it has a nice warm brown look to it and I really like that as you can see it's different than my chest but once I add my concealer and powder everything comes together nicely so I'm using my revolution concealer like I normally do just placing it under my eyes and in my usual areas that I want to highlight forehead nose upper lip to hide that mustache <laughs> and around my mouth to help with my beard and I'm just blending that in with a damp uh, what is this a real technique sponge yeah just a damp real, real technique sponge to blend in that concealer next I'm going to go in with some of my J cat banana powder and I'm just using a small pointed brush to make sure I get that nicely packed in under my eyes. And then I'm going to also use it just to set the other areas of my face that I highlighted before I go in with some of my e.l.f. powder. And this is really more of a bronzer, but I love the color of this powder. I just feel like it fits my skin tone perfectly for me to set my face with. So lately I've just been using this as my powder as well as a bit of a bronze to give my face a bronze look. Now I am playing around with my Morphe bronzer today. I just got this. It is, uh, what is it? The Glamma Bronze in the color Phenom. And I'm just using a little bit of that to check it out. And I really like it, you guys. It looks really nice. It's not too harsh. I just used a little bit, but it really helped to bronze up my face. Now for highlighting, I'm using my Amber Shoal Highlighter Palette. This is one that I got from shophush.com during their sale. It's the Gold Dust Highlighter Palette. And I'm just going in with that. As you can see, this stuff is really, really pretty. Nicely pigmented, not too glittery and sparkly. It just leaves a beautiful sheen on your cheeks. I love this stuff. It's very, very pretty. Now, once I have my highlighting done, I'm going in with my blush and I'm using my NYX Ombre Blush. And this one is in the color Insta Flame. Very, very pretty. As you guys can see, I'm going to go ham with this blush today. I love this color and it just 
just looks really, really nice on a bronze face. Very, very pretty, nicely pigmented. So now I'm going back into the palette to finish up my eyes. So I'm taking some of that blue, using a very small, thin brush to just line the lower lash line with that blue. I'm also going back in with grape soda and just smoking out under that blue, just to kind of make the lower lash line match my upper lid. I'm using my Milani black eyeliner today on my lower lash line. And I'm going in with my Essence Mascara just to kind of pump up my lashes a bit today. You guys know I do not wear false lashes. So this mascara is pretty nice. It helps to kind of fill them in. Now I'm just using one of my brown lip liners, nothing fancy. And I'm going in with my Milani lipstick. And this is one of her cream lipsticks in the shade Matte Naked. I figured I'd go ahead and go nude today for you guys. And I'm going to go over that with my Fenty Gloss Balm, of course, just to make these lips shine. Now, I really, really like how this eye look turned out today. It's very bold, beautiful. The colors are nice and pigmented and bright. And I'm very happy with it. So I will say first impression, I really like this palette. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!